Bobby still uneasy from the memory of the month before. He recalled the night he went out to have a good time, but ended up in the hospital, nearly losing his life after meeting a mysterious woman at a bar and bringing the woman back to his home. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. Shout out to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the whole Broward County, from Hollywood, Hollandale, Dania Beach, Pembroke, Miramar, all the way to Pompano, Sunrise, Plantation, Deerfield, Lauder Hill, all of y'all. If y'all haven't heard about this story, I'm sure you've heard a similar story because somebody's always getting caught up like this, set up in Broward County, Miami-Dade, some of the new people that migrate there, as well as a lot of people on vacation getting caught slipping by these hyenas on a hunt. But yeah, shout out to Broward. On June 10th, 2022, Bobby went out looking for a good time on a hot South Florida night, and he decided to go to the American Social Bar and Restaurant on Los Angeles Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And while at the bar, he ended up meeting a woman. They had a pleasant conversation, and the next thing you know, the two left around 1.30 a.m. and headed back to Bobby's apartment. Surveillance footage reviewed by detectives captured Bobby and the woman as they are seen entering the building where Bobby's unit is located, holding hands. Approximately two hours later, the woman was spotted leaving the building alone. According to police, the woman entered Bobby's residence and stole more than $52,000 worth of goods, including an iPhone 12 Pro, a Rolex, his wallet, and $1,000 in cash. Bobby claimed that he had no memory of that evening. He didn't even remember going back home. A toxicology report cited tranquilizers, GHB, that's a substance used in date rape, and other drugs in his system. Due to the amount of drugs found in him, doctors say he could have passed away. When Bobby woke up, he was basically paralyzed. He couldn't feel his legs and he couldn't talk. So luckily, Bobby, he recovered from the incident. But while he was passed out, the woman helped herself to his valuables. He got jacked. Police say thousands of dollars worth of watches, cash, and other items were all missing from Bobby's apartment. Just back in April of 2022, a man went home with a woman that he met at a nightclub, and he woke up inside his luxurious Miami condo in the Edgewater area to find his $200,000 watch collection missing. And just like in Bobby's case, they walked into the house together around 1.30 a.m. All that woman had was a brown handbag, and in the middle of the night, she grabbed $200,000 worth of watches, threw them in her handbag, and rolled off for her Toyota Camry. So yeah, that's another case of a woman being able to access the man living in an apartment where the rent is anywhere from $7,000 to $20,000 per month, and now she's gone with the wind. Fortunately for those guys, they survived. But all of this is a learning lesson. Men being placed in this situation happens a lot. But of course, me too, they don't care about male victims, only females. No one talks about it. It's often unreported. And even when reported, these helpers seem to get away with it. All this technology and cameras, they just can't seem to find them. And then people and authorities, it could be they don't see men as victims. Nevertheless, if you have a brother, son, nephew out there, you may want to make them aware of situations like this. You cannot trust these people just because you find them attractive. You could really lose your life. I talked about a couple of stories last year. In this video right here, you definitely want to check it out. But men and women, hookup culture is dangerous. Drinking freely around strangers or anybody is dangerous. People can slip things into your drink. You can wake up not remembering what happened or worse, not wake up at all. I legit don't remember coming back to my place. Allegedly, we walked back. I don't remember that. And next thing I know, I woke up in my apartment uh, almost paralyzed. Couldn't really feel my legs. Couldn't talk. They said I should have been dead uh, with the amount of drugs that were in me. Noticed my watch was missing. My phone was missing. I think at the bar, and I had purple stains all over my rug and couch. So she either did it again in my place. I keep an eye out a lot, you know, look around nonstop now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I don't even care if I get my valuables back. I would like her caught and prosecuted. All right, so got an update on this story right here. 
I've been waiting for weeks and weeks for some movement in this case, just wondering how hard could it really be to find this bimbo? And look what ended up happening. They found the woman who robbed Bobby. Yes, after over two months, police caught up with the woman he met at the bar back in June 22, you know, and took her back to a spot. The woman was arrested and identified as 23-year-old Chloe Raynick. She is a resident of Charlotte, North Carolina, but they found her in Henderson, Nevada, driving on a suspended license. They also charged her with one count of grand theft for stealing over $50,000 in valuables from Bobby down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. New at five, a woman accused of stealing more than $50,000 in cash, phones, and designer watches from a man has been arrested across the country. Fort Lauderdale police say 23-year-old Chloe Rainick was found in Nevada. As you might remember, surveillance video released last month shows it here. Police say Rainick was with the man. They were walking into his apartment back in June. You see it there, a video later showing her leaving alone. Police originally arrested Rainick for driving with a suspended license. She was charged with theft here in South Florida. So here's my issue. This woman almost took his life, according to doctors who treated him. How is it that they only charged her with one count of grand theft? And then this young woman is roaming all over the place. They found her in Vegas. So she's scamming guys out in Florida and she's possibly doing the same thing over there in Vegas too. We already know how it's going down in Sin City. She's taking advantage of thirsty guys, slipping stuff in their drinks, and then running off with whatever they have in their pockets. So something tells me that Bobby isn't the only man that she's done that to. And most men that's from Broward County and Miami Dade, they already know what time it is. People like Chloe, they like to go after tourists or newcomers. Bobby is not originally from Broward County. He moved there. He's got a Boston accent. And side note, shout out to everybody watching from Boston, but you can really spot a Boston resident anywhere just by their accent. But yeah, Chloe, she's taking advantage of tourists and I believe that's the reason why she was out in Vegas. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below. Is the one count of grand theft enough? Or should they add more charges in this case? If so, what charges? And why won't this young woman go get a regular job instead of running around trying to scam men? Special thank you to my sister Keita G. I appreciate you for all of your support. As well as Six McDeuce, I appreciate you. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.